Well, there is money coming from the federal government to support public health agencies and the work here at Evergreen Health. And a lawmaker, Susan Delbeni, felt like she needed to come here to talk to them face to face and to see on the front lines what they're doing to fight the virus. Well, it's important to hear from our medical professionals what they need. Congresswoman Susan Del Bene spent time at Evergreen Health in Kirkland, where several patients from the Life Care Center have been transferred as they fight the virus. Del Bene's visit comes just one day after Congress approved more funding to fight the virus, and President Trump called Governor Jay Inslee a snake, raising new concerns about how well the state and federal government are working together to respond. I want to say those comments were appalling. I was with the governor um, and the vice president when they, and the, at the gathering we had on Thursday. I was with the governor again yesterday, and I know his top priority is the health and safety of the people of Washington state, and the president could learn a lot by following the governor's lead. Evergreen posted information on its website calling the virus endemic, which means it's now regularly found in our region and amongst our population. The language caused some concern and was taken down from the site. Doctor said the term is designated by public health and the CDC. I really defer to, to our experts on, on all those definitions on, on what we call endemic. But what we know is with community spread, Evergreen Health is ready to take care of that, that community that, uh, that presents itself here. The hospital said it's focused on taking care of those patients and supporting the staff who continue to show up for work during this very stressful time. Uh, humbling. Humbling to watch these, uh, these staff members come to work every day, as they did before all this, to take the best care of their patients and continue to do so and not shy away from it. Talk that because the virus is so widespread that potentially people, uh, the hospital might no longer be checking people for the virus, but Evergreen Health assures me that they are continuing to test people for COVID-19 using the guidelines under the CDC. We're live in Kirkland. Amy Marino, King 5 News.